Hi everyone, welcome back to the new Silent Hunter 5 campaign. Here we are after the sad demise of U-Boat 557 in the Mediterranean. Uh, I took a poll and the overwhelming popular answer was to avoid Mare Nostrum, which we were here last time in the Mediterranean. And this time, rather than um, trying to re-go from Mare Nostrum or starting again from the uh, coastal waters, the most popular answer was to go for the Western Approaches 6th Flotilla. The Western Approaches, 20th of March 1941 to the 1st of December 1941. Our successful operations have made the U-boats a feared weapon and the British have started to take more particular action against it. Churchill's Battle of the Atlantic directive is showing first results, with the British Western Approaches Command rumoured to have move to Liverpool for better control of the Atlantic convoys. The number and experience of escorts on convoy duty is increasing, and merchant ships are carrying more guns. Happy times are over. We are now up against a new challenge. So this is what we're going to do. We're going to head on in to Western Approaches. Hi everyone, welcome back to port. Here we are with our new boat ready to go. Look at this. Let's have a quick look at her. Of course, we're starting a new campaign. I thought better than um, going back to the point where um, we started Men Nostrum, because if you remember, that's where we switched over from the vanilla game plus mods to Walls of Steel. So, for the sake of stability for the game, I thought we'd get a fresh, clean um, career started, starting at the Western Approaches. So here is our new boat. She is... Um, I can hear the music. Oh, she reminds me of Silent Hunter 3 when you always used to have the brass band playing you off as you uh, left port. Oh, lovely. It might be above us. Who knows? Or they're just piping music in. But there is our beautiful ship. All the boys are on board. We'll see what basic um, updates and uh, specifications she has in a second. Let's just get back to the guys over here. I could probably run. That would probably speed us up a little bit. Herr Kaloin. Herr Okay, you wouldn't let's talk about it. Right, let's see what's what. Welcome back, Herr Kaloin. Mission orders, please. Welcome back, Captain. Hope you enjoyed your vacation and you gained fame, because the British are preparing their return to the Atlantic battlefield, and so should you. Not surprisingly, considering our success so far, Prime Minister Churchill has declared the Battle of the Atlantic his priority. We suspect this may mean a number of things will change in the way the Royal Navy fights against us. Nevertheless, the North Atlantic supply lines remain our top priority, and we must keep attacking those convoys. Lately, the supply lines from Sierra Leone and Gibraltar have grown and become a valuable target too. Intelligence also points out one particular type of convoy of greatest importance to the enemy called the Winston Special. These convoys are ferrying troops around Africa to reinforce the British presence in Persia and further to the east. Using high-speed troop ships and under heavy escort, they would be a very hard nut to crack. Only a daring, skilled and, why not, lucky captain could get to them. It would be quite a blow. Make your submarine ready for battle. Every day counts. The enemy is not waiting. Right, so there we go. That's um quite depressing. So we've got... Where are they? There. Oh, they are little islands there. Um, they are enemy things. So what have we got? British war supplies? Um, patrol the North Atlantic Convoy's direct route. Uh, as an inland, oh sorry, as an island nation, Britain is a highly dependent on imports, uh, imported goods taken from ships from the colonies to the mainland. Attacking these ships would ultimately diminish their ability to wage war and even the will of the people to fight. Uh, following the success of the Happy Times, Churchill issued the Battle of the Atlantic Directive. More um, merchantmen will carry guns, while the number of escorts and aircraft assigned to combat the U-boats will be increased. Okay. 
Uh, or, the, or then, sorry. Other than that, we have the um, 7C training drills. Oh, should we go out and do some training drills? Um, with the introduction of the new um, 7C, you have been assigned to training patrol for equipment familiarization. Proceed to the test area and conduct training exercise to drill your crew. Uh, finishing with weapons testing and sink the target hulks before returning to keel, where you will receive a new type C. Ooh. Uh, this new design comes with uh, an active sonar and is two feet longer. Speed and range has not changed from the 7B, but many uh, mechanical and electrical upgrades have been made. Let's do that. I know that sounds probably a bit boring to some of you, but um, yeah, let's go, let's go get a 7C uh, U-boat. Here we are here in our, with our B, and uh, we'll start plotting our way out of here. And um, oh, this is—I <laughs> thought it was in the navigation map. Then no, I'm not, am I? I'm in the uh, the mission, so that's good. Right? Okay. Good. Welcome so back, let's um, start the new patrol. Oh, before we do that, we've got our mission. Can we have a quick look? Herkulon. No. Okay. So we're going to do these training missions and see if we can get the Welcome Type Seven. Back, Type 7C, and we should be good. Listen to the music. It's jolly today, isn't it? Wow. Okay, let's get our way out of here. Plotting yes. course, returning to course. Uh, should we try and uh, do a straight line? That would Prepare be really for useful. Change. Say he was hitting anything as we come out of the uh, the pen. Plotting course, plotting course. Right, where do we need to? So we need to dodge all these. We're not going to go half speed. Not half speed ahead as you're coming out of a pen, for heaven's sake. So we're going to come out of Kiel. Uh, and then we're going to head up to the uh, training zone, which is up up here. Get that done. Get some. Hopefully that will also give us some renown, which we can also upgrade um, some bits and bobs with. So that's the, the, the idea. Um, guys. Ooh. <laughs> Boys, this is looking a little tight. Oh. Oh, oh a little rubsy daisy. Excited bearing. One, one. Oh. A little bit of a rub, but we're okay. We're out. Yeah, we definitely need some training, don't we? Four, one. Now we got the U boat over there. Look at that. That's lovely. The crew are sort of studying the uh, the texture of the, uh, the keyside Ship wall there. Sighted, bearing Lovely. One, five. Right, we're going to move out into position and get some training done. Got some Type A's there, aren't they, with the uh, exposed uh, rear torpedo tube? Look at these subs just dotted Ship around. Sighted, Lovely. Bearing, one, right, um, we're going to press on, and I'll see you in a little while. Hi everyone, welcome back. Here we are on the bridge, roaring our way towards the training zone, and here we are. We actually have a uh, an enemy unit by the looks of it. Uh, so this, hang on, where's the, oh maybe I need to do that. There we go. So this is the training zone. Obviously we've got this ship here. I'm guessing this is what we'll be firing against. Um, they're saying training drills. I was expecting to do some, you know, crash dives and that kind of thing. 
uh, but it's not actually terribly deep water here. Um, training patrol. Uh, blah, 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 let's have a look. Yeah, 19 meters. You see, we can't really dive at all. Yeah, so um, patrol for equipment familiarization. Proceed to the test area and conduct training exercises to drill your crew. Finish with weapons training. So, yeah, this should be like. That's. But we're in the same kind of zone, so that's not going to be terribly deep. So, um, we're not going to be doing any dive training, are we? Or anything like that. So, um, yeah, I'm not sure. There's um, the ship. Can't quite make it out. It's getting a bit dark now, as you can see. Nighttime is coming. So, uh, yeah. Um, I'm not quite sure what they're expecting of us. I'm sure we'll get some orders when we get into the zone. So we're just going to move on a little bit more and hopefully uh, it'll all come evident what we need to do very shortly. Oh, everyone, we just got a new message. Um, okay, and I need to decrypt it, so I'll be back in a jiffy. Okay, so I've done the message, and I think this might be slight gibberish. So it's con condicts or condict speed something than. Maneuver, reliability, drill, no idea. I don't think that, that decoded correctly, did it? Right, I, I'm, I'm none the wiser, to be quite honest with you. Okay, so that is absolute gibberish. Um, so conduct speed trails, maneuver drills, I guess that was. Um, so, okay, we can do that. Just go up to full speed. speed ahead. And we'll do some maneuvers. Plotting course, plotting course, plotting course, plotting course, plotting course, plotting course. And then we'll shoot these ships and then uh, we'll call that a day. I think that's probably pretty much what they wanted of us. So, um. Yeah. Oh my goodness, it's taken us so long to get this far. That coded message, something gone wrong there. Maybe I did it wrong in the encryption, but. Well, it shouldn't have been. But there's probably a human error element in there as well. Right, so where are these ships? Can you see them? Anything on the horizon? There you go, it's got some standard freighters which should... Whoops, which are just being dropped. Oh, my camera's just broken. Wow, that was great, well done. Um, looks like there's some uh, old... Um, Cruises or sorry, old cruises, old um, merchant ship that's been dumped out in the uh, in the bay, which we can shoot down uh, and sink. So that should be quite good fun later. Right, so we're gonna do some maneuvering, do some high speed turns, and uh, shoot the rest of these um, torpedoes into these uh, hulks and get them sunk to the bottom of the water. So I'll see you in a few. Okay, we've been doing some high-speed maneuvering. We now have 56 meters under our keel, so we're going to dive. Uh, first of all, I need to get uh, off the bridge before we can actually issue that order. Um, let's try that again. Or off the conning tower, should I say. Current depth, one, zero meters. Okay, we've got 60 meters underneath, so let's uh, let's dive down, see how far we can uh, go down. Let's have a look at the uh, the map. Where are we? Here we are. So it should be getting deeper here, which is quite nice. If that is the case. Actually, maybe we should go this way. 
because the lighter uh, appears to be the deeper water. So um, let's go into the uh, the lighter water, and that should be uh, allow us to really go down to uh, tep test depth New and um, check Washer. it out. Moving slow, closing, bearing two, two, five, long range. Current depth two zero meters. Oh, if the mouse will uh, release the camera for a second. Doesn't seem to want to. Let's just do that and maybe no. Nope. There we go. Right. Right away. Okay, so we can go down to 60 odd, which is good. Okay, welcome back. Um, maximum depth. Uh, of dive it can be 62 meters at the moment so we're just sitting here at 47 and uh, just to test the ship out what I might actually do is surface the boat, surface the boat. Uh, and then I'll uh, plow us out to over here where you can see it's a lot lighter and should be therefore a lot deeper that's within the uh, training zone so we're going to come in here and take it all the way down into uh, into the red and uh, hopefully that should just Move. test the seals on her and make sure she's all um, fit for purpose. So that's the plan. Okay, this is the deepest we've found, and it's not that deep, if I'm honest. Um, so let's dive. Let's do a crash dive. Okay, here we go. Current depth, one, zero meters. Current depth, two, zero meters. Need to keep an eye on this, make sure we don't hit the bottom. So we've got about 70 odd meters. Max depth is 82 meters, okay. So um, we better start leveling up once we uh, get to around 65, 70 meters. Just putting her through her paces, make sure everything's okay. Okay, we'll level off there. Yeah, okay, well done, boys. Okay, we're sitting pretty at 65 meters. Well done, boys. We can uh, we can slow down a bit now. Good job. Good job. Right, let's do some underwater maneuvering. Uh, we will actually come up a little bit. Um, Plotting cars. Plotting cars. Plotting cars. Because uh, you can see we're in the deepest section of this uh, this marked out area here, and it does get shallower as we uh, we near the red mark here. So, um, okay, we're down at 65 meters. We can uh, start coming up a little bit, I guess, and. Uh, I suppose we go up to periscope depth, don't we? But we periscope won't. Uh, we'll we'll stop before we get there. Uh, so we'll start um, come to a shallow. We'll probably come to about 30 meters, and we'll do some maneuvers underwater. Hopefully that'll tick a box for the uh, tutorial, and then we'll finish off the ships. And um, yeah, I think that'll just about do us for a nice um, shakedown test. I think that's not too bad. Shame the um, the whatever the big machine decoding didn't work this time not sure it's probably I, I'm probably missed a step or I got a peg um, connected to the wrong one I, I reviewed it double checked it and I couldn't see anything but sometimes if you stare at it too long you can't see the wood for the trees so there may well have been a, a human error along the way there somewhere um, but obviously we got the first part which was um, conduct or conduct conduct speedy depth 
and maneuverability drills. And I think it was probably finished with um, shooting the uh, torpedoes at the uh, the dummy ships in the uh, in the bay. So um, that is what we'll do. Right, we'll uh, do some maneuvering down here. You don't necessarily need to see it, uh, but we'll line ourselves up for a couple of shots against these um, ship hulls and uh, we'll try and put them to the bottom. Hopefully that'll give us some renown and we can head back to Kiel, um, put a few upgrades on our new Type 7 C boat and uh, then we can start the western approaches for realties. So that's the plan, I'll see you in a few minutes. Hi guys, welcome back. We are uh, in position. We've just gone to um, full stop and uh, we're on the surface because there's no threats here. So um, here's the boys. We're still moving along as our momentum takes us a little bit further. Uh, but we should have, look, we've got a little tugboat there. All these little fishing boats here. We're not going to, we've got a main ship over there. Ooh, what's that over there? Some smoke on the horizon. That could be the warship coming in. It's a friendly warship by looks of it, so that's okay. But right, we've got these little tugboats. Um, so what we can do... Uh, whoops, we're not going to... Oh. My mouse keeps sticking on the uh, on the camera, which is a real pain today. <laughs> I don't know why. Sometimes it does that. Um, so what we're going to do is um, a little bit of target gunnery practice. Nice. So let's do that. Let's get these fishing boats sunk to the bottom and then we'll do a torpedo on the uh, the ship over there. Okay, let's hop on here. Um, what have we got? High explosive? Uh, high explosives, that'll do. That's what we want loaded to get these little ships over. What's the... Um, Otto, what's the... Uh, it's D-tier, isn't it? It's not Otto. Where did, where did Otto come from? <laughs> no idea. Uh, can, does he have a call out of um, the distance to the? Not that I can see. No. Okay. Never mind. Not to worry. We'll just figure it out. It's probably going to be about um, twelve hundred meters. A little bit less than that. We'll go for a one kilometer. Uh, so we've got that tugboat there, we've got that one there. And uh, it's just a matter of uh, finishing these off with a deck gun. Nice, we'll bring this up so we don't waste ammunition we don't need to. And I guess we finish these off with the gun and we go and torpedo that one. And that's the idea, I think. Go a little bit shallower, maybe, and see if we can get the uh, the hull. As you can see with the Walls of Steel mod, the the gun's slower, it reloads slower, it's not as powerful. It's not catching fire though. Yeah, this does not want to catch fire. It's a solid little boat, obviously. Okay, a little bit of a skimmer, and um, that boat is sunk, finally. That coastal boat has been sunk. Oh, my goodness. You saw the damage was on there, so... Oh, so slow this gun is. Let's get the one over here. I think we've got two over here, do we? Yeah, that one's a little bit further away, so we'll go for this one. I don't know if he wants to sink, sink them all, but this could take forever. But let's try and get down at the, uh, the water line, and um, hopefully that will... Uh, encouraging 
encourage a quick sinking. That's what we want. Yeah, it's much better. Right at the waterline. You can see there's a big hole in that one now. Nope, she's still she's still hanging in there. New message received. Wir haben einen Funkspruch vom BDU empfangen. Okay, another decryption. Here we go. Okay, guys, welcome back. I'm just uh, doing a little bit of the decryption. I thought oh, I might as well show some of it because it's only going to be a short message anyway isn't it so um yeah that's okay so what i've just basically you can use i've got a tutorial video if you want to know but you go through here you uh you work out from the date uh which um siphon you go in so from here we were in march so we we're in teach uh so you put teach on and then you use uh so tb and you go across to t um and go down to b which gives us n and o and you do that for the first um eight characters so, so you get um another eight characters and then you work it um, through from there. You can see it from the tutorial video if you need to know. Right, um, get out of the way. Uh, blah, 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 blah. So, no, what I need is, yes, it is this one. It's, uh, no, it's, um, oh my goodness. The one I didn't click on, that one, that one, there we go. So the last three letters are F. Uh, T and W, T and W, which gives us a number of 100. Now, if we then go into this one, or is it this one? No, it's, it is this one. 100, it's Hydra. That's fine. That gives us the code name, which is pretty much what I was going to, I knew it would be anyway. So we're in March 1941. Um, Hydra is the code name. And we're on the 21st. Uh, sorry, the 20th. I beg your pardon. So the 20th. This should be exactly the same. Um, yeah, the reels. Are, so basically, these, these are the reels. And these are the letters to set out. So the first one is beta. And you got to set that to A. So that's the beta reel. That's set to A. Then um, number 5 has got to be set to H. This is uh, reel 5. And that's set to H. And so on and so forth. Uh, then we come here for the pegs, and they're all the same. And so that is also going to be the same, YLR. Okay, that's good. So that's all good. So we change this to... W... Y... Oops. L... R, and then we type in the other four letters that we got, which was zero. Oh, hang on, I need to close that. O, T A T, which gives us um, M N O X, M N O X. Right, we we'll clear all that. Boop. Change this to M N O X. Good, and we are good to start typing our message. So uh, the message starts E T. What the hell? Go away. Um, sorry about that. E T L M. Oh, everything's triggering now. It's because we got this up, isn't it? No, I don't know what it is. Deep. Oh, I don't know. Hang on. Let's go into there and try that. Right, can we get rid of that? Dtiak, would you get rid of your Oh I don't know, it's all it's all jamming up. Right, anyway, uh E T L M L R A G D R J A Uh Return to Keel. Okay. Now that's been successful. I don't know why all this is faffing around like this. It's really annoying. Anyway, it's probably because we're in the gun position which is causing that um, slight issue. Right. 
Um, they want us to go return to Kiel, which is fine. But what we might just do first is finish these off, just in case these do pay out any um, kind of uh, notoriety. Uh, and then we can uh, use that to potentially uh, upgrade ships, get some paintwork, that kind of thing. Um, so I'm going to finish these off, and then we'll return to Kiel and, uh, and see what's what. So I'll see you in a few. Nice. As you can see, everyone, we're just finishing off these ships now. Getting a good bit of uh, deck gun action on here. You see all the holes that they've pounded into the hole. Yeah, it's well done, boys. Um, so I just caught the microphone there. As you can see, we well, I can't be bothered to go and finish this one off, but we finished these three uh, fishing vessels off, these coastal boats. Um, and then we're just having a go at this one here. Oh yes, oh yes, train reactions. It's not going to be long before she goes, and then we'll be heading back to Kiel. So that'll be a fairly successful uh, training and um, taking through the paces. Training drills, that'd be good. Right, so as soon as we finish this ship off, uh, we'll head back, and then, uh, yeah, we can uh, tick off the shakedown test and... Um, Go for real next time. Uh, all of a sudden, it's got very choppy. Obviously, set the uh, gunners slightly out there, but um, we're still in there. Another good hit. Well done, boys. Maybe a torpedo would also um, be in order just to. Uh, Maybe that finished her off. Did that finish her off? Let's have a look. Oh my god, I can hear people screaming. That's horrific. Is that it? Yeah, they've lost interest. That ship must be sunk. That is sunk. They're now targeting this one. Oh, goodness me. Uh, so that was a 4,000 ton uh, Hog Islander. Right, we'll just um, sail slowly past there on our way down, give them a, a little bit more uh, gunnery practice. No torpedoes today by the looks of it. And uh, yeah, oh, we'll head back to Kiel. And, uh, and obviously wait our next mission orders. So uh, we'll press on and I'll see you in a few. Hi everyone, welcome back. We've got the uh, coastline in sight. We are in shallow waters. We're in shallow waters. We've got the coastal defence guns there. We've got uh, a destroyer patrolling the the river mouth there. We've got lighthouse, I guess. I'm not sure what that is. Um, we've got some uh, guiders there. Another coastal defences. So we're coming back into Kiel. A uh, quick look at the map. You can see we're coming into the uh, Kiel estuary here. Or whatever this you'd like to refer this to, um, and we've just had the tick to say radio message received. Mission has been completed. So that is our training drill completed successfully. Four ships sunk. Obviously, yeah, they were just target hulls, but that's okay. Uh, Four thousand four hundred fifty-one tons sunk. What we're going to do now, I guess, if we have a look at the uh, condition of the ship. We fuel is 98%, hull integrity 99%. Maybe it's that scrape we did going into the thing, but that's not nothing to worry about. Not to worry about that. Uh, what we're going to do 
is um, go into the harbour. Um, actually, we've got... They show up here, the missions, don't they? So we've got British supplies out there. We've got the um, Gibraltar supply routes around... Oh, Gibraltar, obviously. And we've got the Winston Specials, which are the flotillas going through there. Um, what's the dates on this? In December 1941. December 1941. And December 1941. It's now March 1941. So what I propose we do is we potentially... We can come through the... Oh, hang on. I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll come from Kiel. We'll come out here and we'll, we'll start this one. And then we'll come into probably Brest or, or one of these other bases down here to um, to rearm. And then we can maybe go on to either one of the Winston Specials or the uh, Gibraltar uh, convoys. So, uh, yeah, I think we'll target the 6th Flotilla British Supplies first off. And, uh, and we'll go for that one. But first, um, I'm going to go back into Kiel. Like, oh, or should we just set sail? Do you know what? Battery level's okay, fuel is fine. We're going to actually turn around now and um, head out, come around Britain and uh, start the uh, western approaches. So we'll do that right this second. Saves us going all the way back into Kiel and all the way back. So we'll just turn tail and uh, actually we'll go this way. And we'll come up here and we'll go... Um, Cars, yes, I know there's cars. the Kiel Canal, which will take us, um, where is it, all the way through there. Um, but we're going north anyway, so we might as well head north, so that's that's not too much of a, uh, a problem. Flooding cars, flooding cars, I'll tidy this course cars. up a little bit later, but we just want to be get going. Cars. We can maybe fuel up on one of these bases here on the way past, which might not be a bad idea. Maximise our fuel before we head around uh, the UK. Right, that is the plan. Um, we'll leave it there for this episode. I, um, I'm not sure how long this video will be. I know people are looking forward. Stand by. Uh, this is... Um, no, these are 11 o'clock. So these are old. It's 22 minutes past midnight now. What was the message? Don't know. Don't know. Anything important here? Ah. We are in shallow waters, Captain. U-77. Well, we know what our uh, ship designation is. So that's the important thing. Uh, and I've just got a, a message, so I will decode that. But I'll do that off screen, you don't have to worry about that. Um, as I was saying, we're just about to leave it there. We've been recording now for about two hours, so hopefully we'll get a good 40 minute video out of this, uh, depending on how much uh, uh, is, um, is good. More messages coming in, lots of things are happening. Right, so we're going to press on, and uh, I will see you next time. Hi everyone, um, scrap our previous plan, we are turning around and heading back to Kiel. Uh, the reason being, uh, that message that just came in, uh, I decoded it, and uh, here we are. Dock at Kiel and report to uh, something or other. But uh, report, <laughs> we've basically got, been ordered to go back to Kiel and um, and uh, finish that off, which is fine. We've got some renowned, probably we, can, we might be able to pick up a, uh, a toy or uh, some upgrade or two. Might be quite exciting. So, yeah, we're heading just back to Kiel. I recorded it relatively early, as I literally as I stopped recording. So we'll head back to Kiel, and we'll start the next episode from the sub pen in Kiel. So I will see you next time, ready to go out to attack the Western approaches. I'll see you next time.